1967 there was heart attack i was hospitalized I thought that now I shall die. Let me go back to India. After two consecutive heart attacks on the ship Jaladuta, this was the third time Shri Prabhupada got a heart attack. This time it was very, very severe. Left part of the body got paralyzed, and this time Shri Prabhupada decides, "Let me go back to Vrindavan." Then there was repeated letters, come back, come back. So I came back. I'm Joe McConnell. Another traffic report in minutes on KSFO KYAFM. And with Magic 61 traffic, I'm Joe McConnell. Thanks for cars are backed up for miles on the South Five Freeway right now. Swami AC Bhakti Vedanta, head of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, arrived in India. There is a long history that I came here with a, a determination to start a temple in New York. I am not very much hopeful that I wrote one poetry that Krishna, why you have brought me in this country? What can I do? I will con- I shall convince them. I will understand the philosophy. So I wrote that poetry. I do not know what for I have come here. Why this man brought me here? So, but because you have brought me here, must be there is some purpose. It's all right, you make me dance as you like. Shri Prabhupad writes in his Jaladuta diary, "I have no devotion, nor do I have any knowledge, but I have strong faith in the holy name of Lord Shri Krishna." This was the time when. youngsters in america had rebelled against the authorities a lot of protests in the country and they were heavily into drugs intoxication gambling meat eating shri prabhupad wondered will they ever be able to understand the message which he has so painstakingly carried from east to west he pleaded and begged lord krishna to inspire them to take up the teachings of bhagavad gita the swami was a friend of my husband's father uh, mr agarwal uh, in agra india 
And he asked me to sponsor the Swami, and that, that's what I did. And that's why he came to our house in the middle of the night one night. He stayed with us for a month in Butler. The Swami came with so few possessions. He came with the clothes he had on his back. He had a typewriter, and he had his books. And he had a bag of cereal. The Swami brought a pan with him in which he cooked his food, and in fact, cooked our lunch too. Imagine coming to a country on the other side of the world with so little, and yet he came with so much in himself. When he left, he was just oceanic. Oceanic. He just seemed to take in the entire universe when he left, and he laughed a lot. Srila Prabhupada knew the most important philosophy of the world, that is the philosophy of Krishna consciousness, should be spread from the most important city of the world, and that is New York. Hence, Srila Prabhupada decided to move to New York. Through a friend in India, Srila Prabhupada got to know about one Dr. Mishra who was staying in New York City. Dr. Mishra invited Srila Prabhupada to stay with him. Although Srila Prabhupada addressed the audience a couple of times, but since Dr. Mishra has his own philosophy, he stopped Srila Prabhupada to preach this message to his audience. Srila Prabhupada felt suffocated. For want of resources, he moved to downtown Bauri, where he had to share an apartment with a hippie who was also a drug addict. Then one day, the boy, Mare, he saw some crazy features. Prabhupada in Vrindavan was respected as a scholar and a pure devotee of Lord Shri Krishna. He comes all the way to the West to preach the message of Krishna consciousness and once again here is left homeless and completely devastated. I am not happy yet. I shall be very happy to return to my Vrindavan that sacred place. My heart is always hankering after that Vrindavan. I shall be very comfortable there and I will have no anxiety, nothing of the sort. But I have taken all the risks because I am ordered by my spiritual master. In spite of all my difficulties, all my inconveniences, I have taken all the risks in the old age because I am in duty bound. Then 
then I asked Mukunda to find out an apartment. And he found this apartment, 26 second hand. Movements are so strong, you say, simply I love this. They did not come to hear Hari Krishna. They came for love feast. From very beginning, when I was in 26, mm-hmm. second time ago, and every Sunday I was giving nine food stars, at least 200 women. And daily at least more than 15, 20. I was cooking myself. Then I registered this Krishna Consciousness Society uh, under Religious Act of New York in 1966. And gradually, people took interest. And then I started my kirtan at the Tom Kinsan Square. I began to chant this Hare Krishna mantra. I was chanting there for three hours. New York Times they published first of all. Then this news was news was spread very uh, nicely. One paper boy is there, then says that we understood that God is there. But now I see the reporter said that Sami Bhaktivedanta has uh, brought back God in his Sankirtan. That is the beginning of my movement. On 2nd Avenue and 1st Street is a storefront in which a Hindu Swami has set up shop. There, his American disciples are learning about Krishna consciousness. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you founded the Hare Krishna movement. Yes. And next branch was established in San Francisco. Then the younger generation began to come to me. Started the San Francisco branch. Then gradually we develop. In the depth to these chanting, percent of the vibration, their mind, darkness of the mind is clear. It doesn't matter what he is. This simple vibration can deliver the people of this age. In the year 1967, I introduced Rafa Jastra in San Francisco. Samson learned that on a chart he make enough light to go and put this to a success. As the newspaper write that people in general never felt such ecstasies as they had been in the Rafiya. Then he started 
next branch in Montreal, uh, Buffalo, Boston. In this way, my Guru Maharaj's desire and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prediction, at least it has begun to be fulfilled. But 67, I became very much sick. 1967, there was a heart attack. I was hospitalized. The heart was so weak. I thought now I shall not exist. And the boys, the disciples are chanting, I was chanting. <coughs> the heart attack was very severe. Nobody survived such heart attack. The disciples were completely shattered. Many of them thought Śrīla Prabhupāda would never come back. Śrīla Prabhupāda was their leader and how can they carry on with their Krishna consciousness without Him? They had given up everything and all they wanted was Śrīla Prabhupāda, the beloved spiritual master. There are repeated letters, come back, come back. So all these Brahmānanda and others, they are crying. <laughs> so many fathers and mothers, take care. So many fathers. My father was very affectionate to me. He would do everything for me. So I lost one father. I have got so many fathers. Practically, this propaganda war began vigorously from 1968. These boys are so enthusiastic in preaching that on my word they are going any part of the world. In London, I have sent uh, six boys and girls who are married by me in my presence. They have been trained only under my direction for only two years, but they are working in London very wonderfully. So we went to London that fall, and although we had no permanent place of residence and we were completely dependent on Krishna, somehow or another, by the enthusiasm that Srila Prabhupada had given us in Montreal, we were able to make contact with George Harrison, who was a member of the Beatles at the time. My sweet Lord. Mm, my Lord. 
he so much appreciated the Hare Krishna mantra that he immediately said, let's make a 45 record. We have produced some records in cooperation with George Harrison organization because uh, the records have produced through George Harrison. We have got a very, very big step. George Harrison has contributed. He gave me first of all $19,000 for printing Krishna. Now he has purchased one house in Bengal. It is 200,000 pounds. And London Times, uh, in big heading, they wrote, uh, Krishna chanting startles London. Next, we introduce Rasa Yatra in London. It is going on continually for the last six or seven years. Our wrath was so high that the guardian paper, they criticized that this Rathayatra is rival to Nensal Kanava. Practically, throughout the whole continent, Europe and America, they know what is Hare Krishna Maha. So, why not spread this movement in India? This is the beginning. Shri Prabhupada was ordained by his spiritual master to spread the message of Krishna consciousness in the Western world. With the help of his sincere disciples, Shri Prabhupada was very successful in reaching out this message in America and in Europe. Now Shri Prabhupada decides to come back to India with his Western disciples whom he very fondly called the dancing white elephants to mark a new beginning. <laughs> 